Hello, folks. As you can tell from the music, it's me, Cliff Kissy Boy Smith. Uh, finally shooting another video. I've been kind of working with, working on this one over the last, I believe, month or two or whatever since I finished that uh, getaway in Pala. Um, I haven't really been posting anything uh, on YouTube. I've been doing mostly Instagram. So it's, uh, it's kind of easy, easier than uh, having to edit a video, you know. Just kind of take pictures as my progress goes along and just post it to Instagram. And, uh, and to Facebook. I always do a, an album that's dedicated to... Well, most of the time I do an album that's dedicated to uh, whatever I'm building at any given time. But uh, this has been a project that I've been working on. I was excited when I found that they were, they were releasing this truck, man. Uh, and then I watched the HPI guy, uh, Chris's video, man, and uh, I don't know, watching his videos <laughs> is responsible for me spending a lot of money over the last last few months because pretty much everything he's put on there is like, oh man, I gotta have that. So uh, this was the was the big deal though, this is the one out of all the ones I saw in review, uh, aside from the Cadillac, that I really, 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 like super duper wanted. But, uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen most of what's going on. I got it to 99.9% .9 done, like officially last night. There's only a couple more things that need to be done, which you'll probably see in the video. <clears throat> but if you don't see that, I'm probably not going to point it out to you. <laughs> you can leave it in the comments below if you see anything that's missing at that point. But um, I do appreciate you guys watching all my videos and everything. And if you, uh, Let me know how you feel about this truck. But... Uh, without delaying any further, making the video any longer, and making listen to my droning on voice, uh, just go ahead and get that truck in front of you. Let you know. Let, let me know what you think. All right, folks, and there she is, my 1978 Dodge D100 pickup truck. And I've been working on this one for. Uh, probably about a month or two. Uh, I think I got it in uh, early May, uh, late April, something like that. Yeah, early May, I believe. So it's been I've been working on it all of this month, and I got it uh, in May, trying to decide what I was going to do with it. But, uh, I actually didn't know what I wanted to do with it before I bought it. But then I, like usual, did my Google Images and found uh, a truck that I that was inspired that inspired it. And as you can see, it came with a little mini bike here. I was excited when I found it, this thing was coming out. So, um, what have we done to it? This is actually my um, third paint job that's completely airbrushed. I actually custom mixed the paint and everything. Uh, I'll put up a slideshow at the end of this whole video and just uh, that'll show all the pictures of uh, what I went through to get, get it to where it is now. And it's not even 100% done now. It's just uh, just a couple of little tiny things need to be done that uh, you'll probably see when I start pulling things apart. But nothing major. You know. I do uh, plan on bringing this to a show next month, and uh, it's going to be in Spring, Texas, uh, the Houston Automotive Society, Houston Automotive Modelist Society, or Hams show, uh, Saturday, July 20th, uh, 2019. So uh, if you guys are around in the area, shoot, come on by and see your boy Kissy Boy Smith. Yeah, come see the little sloppy bills that I put together in person. <laughs> Whatever I decide to bring with me. But uh, this video shouldn't be too long because I'm just gonna go over what I what I've done to it and then put up a slideshow, I guess, pretty much. Uh, it's not really anything to write home about, but. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I really wanted this really bad when I found it was coming out, and then when I saw that video of a uh, uh, HPI guy building his as a ratty lawn, lawn keeper's truck, I had to, I had to have it. But uh, what has been done to it? Um, the kit itself actually sits pretty low. I mean, it's not a high high riding truck, but uh, the front seemed to be when I was mocking up that it might have sat higher than the back, so I didn't want that nose high stance on it so I took the suspension and I uh, kind of notched it into the frame and sunk the, uh, the uh, control arms and everything further up into the body so it brought the the, uh, the front end of the truck down a little bit lower 
and uh, and um, as far as the motor goes, I didn't really dig the motor too much, so I had to go in and get me something a little uh, a little more detailed. I was gonna go with the Hemi, but mm, I was like, well, I really don't want to put that in here. I already did one Hemi car, and I don't know. It's felt like a 440 would be better. And the hood actually is not cooperating at the moment for me to open it up, so I, I will open it by the end of the video and, and show it to you. The, when I found out the grill had the molded in headlights, actually, that kind of bothered me, so I drilled these out and uh, added uh, gemstones. I sanded them. Uh, kind of, kind of like I, I seen a video, uh, Mr. Mini Dreams. It said uh, he had used those sometimes with the googly eyes to make his headlights. And I thought of that way back when I first started watching his videos that he uh, had mentioned that. And uh, this paint job is actually uh, uh, Tamiya white primer, uh, and then I sprayed it with uh, I think it was Ceram coat gecko green. For the, uh, for the base coat and once that dried I mixed up um, let's see I got it right here uh, Wicked Colors Pearl Lime Green and to darken it up I added uh, Festive Green it was Folk Art Festive Green Metallic and I thought it looked pretty good and then once it dried I looked at it and it was just too much doggone green <laughs> So uh, I said to my wife, I was like, well, what do you think of it? Is it, is it too much green? She's like, oh, yeah. I was like, what do you think of if I put a stripe on it? I was like, that would be really cool. So I don't want to go crazy with the stripe. So she actually helped me with this. She went and uh, masked off the uh, the two stripes there so it will be even because she's a lot more uh, talented when it comes to symmetry. You know? I can make one side look really good, but then the other side might look good, but it's not going to look the same as the other side. So she's responsible for uh, for getting those lines straight for me. So I, I thank you, dear wife. Appreciate it. And then once I put those on there, I thought to myself, huh, the stripes alone don't look that great. And I looked at the decal sheet and I saw the custom 100. I put that decal on along with the B here from the uh, the dart kit. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good, in my opinion. Okay, so that's what I paint-wise, and then I, I just mixed up uh, Create Text Clear and, and just polished it to get get the shine. It's not like a super show-winning paint job or anything like that, but I think it looks pretty good. It's good enough for my shelf, at least. I know that much. Uh, uh, like I said, I actually hopefully I do another part of the video. Where I'll just show the uh, the engine. Uh, it's not 100% done, but it's it's done enough to display it for the moment. By the time the show comes around, I'll have everything else that needs to be done to that. Uh, the thing I'm probably most proud of, aside from the paint job and the stance, is the exhaust. And there will be a slideshow on the exhaust. But I, if you can see it there. I created another full exhaust from the headers all the way back to the, uh, to the tailpipes, including a set of my first reel <laughs> Kissy Boys custom exhaust mufflers uh, custom dual exhaust that are you know, straight back from the headers all the way back through those mufflers and straight out the back all right, so I think that's about all I can say about it that should conclude the speaking portion of the video uh, the rest I should be able to throw up in the eye in a slideshow for you of the, uh, of the of the build here uh, I'll just show a video of the, the engine and then we'll get to that slideshow for you but I, I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in watching my videos and uh, follow me on Instagram and and let me know what you think of this trek the support really really helps me to get through these builds like when I get to the tough part of it, it's kind of like I want to throw it against the wall and it's like well I got people watching this so I can't, <laughs> I can't throw it against the wall now to be asking about it and that'll probably make me mad even more because then I'll start thinking about it but uh, anyway thank you guys for watching I'll show you the engine and uh, probably underneath and then uh, get to that slideshow and get you back out and enjoying and back to building alright